Hey, in this recording I'm going to show you how to create section views and this is in Creo. This is going to be we're going to do this in the pipe strap assembly as an for our example. So I'm using my pipe strap assembly. I'm in the assembly file and we want to create a section view. Um, and that's done by going to the view tab and then section. And we can do a couple different types of section views. Planar, X direction, Y direction, Z direction, offset, so you can use multiple planes. I'm going to use planar. And then let me open my plane so we can see. And it, then it really becomes what what uh, plane do we want to use to cut this in half? So if we use this front, we can see a lot of the detail of the part, the threading and the part that's it, threading the, the strap and the plate itself. It's going to be better than using the front view or the top view. So we'll use this front view. You can also create your own planes and use any custom planes you want. We're going to use this front view. You can also offset it if you need to. Uh, we're going to click a check and that creates our section view we can also deactivate the section view if we want to right right clicking on the section view created deactivate it we can also activate it back it's up to you I'll leave it deactivated okay so to add the section view into our drawing got a drawing file open we want to add a section view right here we're going to go to layout while this assembly is selected we're going to hit general view and click OK I'm going to just drop it here for now it's going to be front and then we want the section turned on and then we're adding the section that we created earlier hit apply it creates the section view in addition, we want to create a, an additional view to show the cutting line. Um, to do that, we're going to uh, just delete that. We're going to, while this is selected, we're going to set projection view. Now we're projecting a view on it, either left, right, top, or bottom. We want let's do this right. Okay. It then creates a. Uh, the, it creates the right view and then we're going to want to add the cutting line so on, on your section view itself when it's like we'll right click add arrows to this view and it adds the cutting arrows actually so this is better done as a left view not a right view that way the arrows are lining up it depends which way you, you select the actual section view done in your assembly which way it's cutting and then you can realign your arrows we don't want this text, hide our text, hide our text. And then it creates the cutting lines for the section view. That's how you create section views. Um, to change the hatching, you can double click on this hatching. And, and then what's green is what's selected, so you can click next. And then the, each part is changing. So like this pipe strap, I want the the hatching needs to be smaller space that way you see more of it so while it's green selected we can do spacing and we can double it or half it half it's better so now there's more lines it's a little bit better when it's like that um, and you can also change the angle if you need to but that's good enough the other parts look okay plate is enough and the uh, nuts enough but that's I think that's good. That's a good section view, and that's how you create section views in Korea.